had to admit I was a little well, I was a little had some mixed feelings about this record debuting at number thirty nine at the time back in 1996, thought it was a little cheesy, it was a catchy record, it was a good record, but there was just a, the promotion, of, the promotion behind this record, the, it just, it, it just didn't, it didn't rub me the right way for some reason, although now, looking back on it, great cross between the Zombies and the Beatles, the early British invasion, this record, the wonders, that thing you do, maybe it was just that, the title of it, that thing you do, it's just so simple and so, well, just real catchy, I guess, but, Debuting at number 39 on my fantasy playlist, October 26, 1996. The Wonders, actually, The Wonders didn't really exist. They were a fictional band. They were in a movie called That Thing You Do. The name of the movie, I believe, was the name directed by Tom Hanks. This was a band, it was a fictional band, and the, the song That Thing You Do started out as a ballad. And the group was performing it at a college talent show. And uh, the drummer just picked up the beat, and the group just went along, and they came up with this up-tempo number. The crowd went wild, and they won the talent contest. They got themselves a manager, uh, the fictional band called The Wonders, and which got more. They got more shows in the area from where they came from. They got a record deal, record deal with Playtone Records. How about that? I like that Playtone Records, and uh, put out as a single with the number seven on Billboard's Hot 100. That's the fictional part of it. Now the non-fictional part of this. This record was uh, written. It was co-written, co-produced by a couple of guys: Adam Schlesinger, a Fountains of Wayne. Bass player Fountains of Wayne. Fountains of Wayne, they had a hit 1997 alternative hit called Radiation 5, but then in 2003 they came out with this fantastic radio friendly cars sounding, sounded a bit like the cars. Stacy's Mom, that was in the summer of 2003. Adam Slasher wrote this record, produced it along with Mike Fiola. V I O L A. Mike Fiola later worked with. Uh, Fallout Boy and New Politics. New Politics had a fantastic rock and roll record a couple of years ago called Harlem, which should have been a hit. The reality is that thing you do by the Wonders, the fictional group, went to number 41 on Billboard's Hot 100. That's it. Did did better in England. Went to number 22 in Britain in 1997. And uh, I guess that's all i got to say about this record. Doing a lot better on my fantasy playlist, though. Debuting at number 39, That Thing You Do by The Wonders.